Hi everybody, this is Brad Martin of Green Mountain Detecting and I'm Chill Bill, you need to subscribe and like me. But anyway, that's who that is. <laughs> uh, today I am far away from the mountains of Vermont. Today's day three of my France adventure. Today I am in another new field, the oldest field so far, right? They're all old. They are, they are. Very excited about today. It's a fairly fresh field for us, uh, for Chill Bill. A fresh field for me, I was on here a year ago and it was so hard, it was like concrete and my old feeble bones couldn't dig a hole in it. And now it's, it's nice and soft and we can get our shovel into the ground. So let's just do that. Let's find a few treasures today. <laughs> Right, well, we have the very first target. It happens to be this thing that I've never found in the States, but apparently they're quite common here. And it's a spindle whorl. These were used on a wooden yeah. shaft and used to um, spin thread out here in the field, more than likely. This would more than likely be the oldest one I've found thus far. Uh, it's 11th to the 13th century. Yeah, 12th, 13th century. 12th, 13th century home here. We've only been here about five minutes. Pretty excited to see what else we can find here. Not only is it a coin, but it has a silvery look to it. Come on. And I know it's not going to be silver, but it has a silvery look to it. So here you go, boys and girls. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. No. <laughs> it's a coin, but it ain't no silver coin. Money. It's nice though. Mr. Chill Bill has his first coin. It could be silver actually. It definitely could be silver. See that edge? It's kind of like not green. That will be a uh, single tournoir, I would think. Tournoir. And it's got writing around it. Hmm. Anyway, first coin of the day. Yes, indeed. Excellent. <laughs> Well, it's been a roller coaster of emotions over the last minute and a half. I found a small disc. We're confident that it's medieval, yeah. but we're unsure whether it was a coin that was turned into a child's toy, a wizard, or a piece of jewelry, or a counterfeit coin that was turned into a wizard or a piece of jewelry. In any case, it's a small, brass bronze disc found in a 13th century ruins in a field in France. And I couldn't be happier to be here finding this stuff. It seems like there's text around the outside. It is, it is. It's a hammered jetton turned into jewelry, I reckon. Hammered jetton. Oh yeah, there's, it's definitely a coin. Uh, well, I just got a piece of iron, but you know, given where we are, a medieval home was here, digging everything. And I just got a iron nail. And so I've been told this is a, a beam nail. So they would have had these giant wooden beams to support uh, the ceiling, of course. This would have been used for that. We don't find these up in the mountains of Vermont, that's for sure. So I just got a beautiful target. It was a quarter inch underneath the surface of the dirt here. And it happens to be a coin. Now it's still covered in mud. I'm not going to be able to identify it because I know have no idea what I'm looking at. But it's certainly a fairly good-sized copper coin. It could be a six. A six. Could be a six. Denier. Yeah, den. Could be, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it's definitely. Definitely pre-revolutionary. And the French Revolution was 1790-ish. Ish. It was a rolling feast, but <laughs> I'd say 1792. So probably. pre that. A good kind of starting point. That Excellent. The last coins that the king made before they separated his head from his shoulders. I'm guessing that that's going to be something like a six or a half sold or something like that. But that will be... Not hammered. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Well, you know. They got to the coin press. Maybe the one. next one. Fantastic. Come and have a look.
a look at that. That is a Liard. And that's a billion Liard, so that's a silver coin. Wow. This is a three unit, like I told you about yesterday, Brad. And this is a Liard. <laughs> Hammered silver. <laughs> Good for you. So back in the mountains of Vermont, if I found a little strip of brass in the junk bag, but here I took my time, I cleaned it off, and it is decorated with a little swoopy pattern. It's very heavy, thick. I thought it was something special. Mr. Chillbill came over here and he identified it, not positively, but we're 50-50. 50-50. It may be the top ring of a sword scabbard and older than the coins I've been finding so far, maybe 12th. 1200 1300 it could cross over it could be later as well holy but it, mackerel but it is really um crude the, the cruder it gets the more you're going back into history and we find parasol tops and cane tips and all those things and we always joke ah oh, it's the end of a sword scabbard but out here i mean it's a definite reality to find something like that not even uncommon <laughs> not even uncommon well incredible but throats, don't find many throats. Well, it happened. Almost, kind of. I just uh, found my first hammered silver coin, although the silver coin is called Bion. Bion. Practicing my French. Uh, which is 5% silver, 95% copper. Random small amount of silver. But it is a hammered coin from the 1400s, 1500s. 14 to 1500s. By far my oldest coin ever. And that, that's a $20 bill there for, for the people that have earned it. A $20 bill? Yeah. It's a liard. Yeah, a liard. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. I have to shake the landowner's hand. Merci. Goku. Oh, yeah. Content. Je suis très content pour vous. You want it? No, no. he says happy for you. Oh, thank you. Merci. Wow. Well, here on day three, Chill Bill and I continue to use the new XP Deus 2 metal detector. And as XP is a French company, their metal detectors are made in France. They are once again the perfect sponsor for today's video. The Deus 2 remote is absolutely packed with a variety of factory presets with adjustable settings, tone style choices, and display options. These 12 modes can be used out of the box with great success or they can be tweaked and saved as new programs to perfectly suit your situation and detecting style. Now, if you're anything like me, I like to just turn it on and go find treasure. So for this trip, I almost exclusively used program one, the general program. It uses a mixture of low and high frequencies and had no problem at all finding these small copper and beyond hammered coins. And as time goes on, technology advances, the Deus 2 can also evolve. With a simple to use online update software, XP can send regular firmware updates to your unit, keeping it up to date and ever improving. And that's enough for today. XP has generously offered to sponsor more of my upcoming France videos, so I'll talk more about it next time. If you're interested in picking up your own XP metal detector, please consider using the link in the description box below this video or the one that just popped up over my head. Using those links will not only get you an amazing metal detector, but will also help me out. Back to the action with Chill Bill. So this just came out and this is a medieval, probably 1500s clothes hook. So it'd be tied to one side here and there's a hook there. And you go hook into a little eye and it would hold it together. Would there be multiple on one piece of clothing? I should think there'd be, yeah, many. Really, really interesting. I would have no idea what that is. Awesome. All right, it was the best target of the day. I have just barely uncovered it. You can see there's just a beautiful 
green aquamarine color poking through out of the dirt. The Pas d'une trois. No, 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 Oh, no, 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 When was Napoleon Trois? 1865. And there's ah. the emperor with a goatee on one side and a flaming big eagle on the other. It's a man with a goatee. It's the grandchild of Napoleon. 1866. There you go, told you. Within a year, in the ground, a little age, and Chill Bill can tell you with it to within a year, in a millennia, <laughs> what that guy's from. Well, that's not uh, medieval, but back for where I'm from, that would be something to get very excited about. Do you want to get excited about something? Yeah. Uh, Italiano. Italiano. Mario. Mario. Oh, no. The pièce de la pizza. Oh. <laughs> C'est pas Napoleon toi. No. So this is actually an Italian uh, equivalent of the ten son teams of France. There was a monetary union in the 1800s and all the coins of all the countries were all made the same size with the same amount of coin in it so Umberto could pass for ten son teams in, in France, the Swiss could do the same and the and the Dutch etc and even the Vatican had this monetary union and the monetary union lasted from 18 to Bourbon actually through the First World War. So when they were fighting and killing each other to the death, they still had a monetary union hanging on in there. So this is an Italian 10 centesimos or whatever it is, which is the equivalent of 10 centimes of France, but this is Italian. And the guy with the goatee on the back is actually the Italian king, not the French Napoleon III. Uh, so I just found a small little brass item and we're, we're speculating about what it is. Could possibly be uh, a, the strap, a strap end, like we find uh, back in Vermont, leather strap ends. It could possibly be a piece of a buckle. But whatever it is, I mean, it's more than likely medieval. We have two little holes back here. There's a hole going through this way. As you can see there. But it does appear to be silver plated, so it was important to somebody. In any case, it's medieval. I'm excited. Unbelievable day for a Vermonter like me. So Brad is on fire, which is not surprising because you know he does the equivalent of climb mountains with a pack of rocks on his back, and that's what treasure hunting is in America. So <laughs> when he comes to the promised land, up pops all the treasure, and in his hand is another silver Beyond coin from say 1400s. The promised land, I like that. We were discussing earlier, back in Vermont, I try to find nine to 12 things to make a good day for me. We've hit that, we've been here maybe an hour and a half. Well, it's actually a bit longer than that, now, just Is it? like an hour and a half, but you had Oh, found, time flies. You have found, you did find nine things in like 35 minutes. I did. And what we have here is another tiny Beyond coin. Is it another Liard? I don't know. I should think so. Well, it's cleaning up, and it definitely has a silvery tinge to it. Yeah, that, that's a little bit more than your average Beyond, I think. I think that's a higher grade of Beyond. Look at that. Wow. Incredible. It's a little broken, but I'm not complaining. Let's have a look. Let's see what you've got. Oh, you go. So mm. that is 1300s. 1300s. I'm guessing, because that's the, like, in, in England they'd call that a long cross, but it, it isn't. Um, yeah, well, maybe um, 30%. 30% argent? Yeah, oh. Sim similar. Silver. So it's maybe, maybe four hundred s Yeah, maybe 1400s. Maybe. Mm, it's beautiful, huh? Yeah, be very, very beautiful. It's silver. So argent? An enough silver. Yeah. It's enough silver to call that silver, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hammered silver. Mm. Heck yeah. Uh, merci, Bernard and merci. Chill Bill. Mon plaisir. All right, folks. Well, that is gonna do it for us today. The sun is going down, it's getting cold out. But what a day it was. Looking at this little pile of treasures on the ground here, this may be the best day I've ever had metal detecting. And I owe it all to Chill Bill and the landowner Bernard. 
If you're unfamiliar with Chill Bill's YouTube channel, he has a ton of videos just like today. He posts them all the time, so please go like and subscribe. Check them out, they're great. The coins I found today blow my mind. I say this every single day in France, but they just keep getting better. Let's go down, take a look at them. Five coins today. The most recent, uh, the Italian coin in the back. These two have yet to be identified, although they are most likely uh, medieval period. And then the two hammered percentage silver coins. My first incredible feeling uh, to find something with such age and significance. Truly, truly lucky. Uh, to be here today. Uh, and I did wind up with four spindle whirl pieces. One big musket ball, I did find a couple smaller uh, pistol balls. But all in all, incredible day. All right, well, thanks again for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing to see more. Check out Chill Bill's channel as well. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Yeah.